at my farm this morning, uh, Maplewoods Dairy Farm, Brian Peters, and uh, we're gonna do a little tour of the of the dairy, how how the day to day operations go, so milking, feeding, cleaning, wherever this takes us. So we'll get going here. We're gonna do our feeding for the morning, then we'll go and get set up for milking, start milking, we'll milk, and then about two hours from now, cattle will go out, have their morning exercise, we'll do all our cleanings, get everything cleaned up, rebatted for the day, and bring them back in. So that back there was all our heifers, all our young stock. Uh, they're kept in an open sided building basically. They can handle the cold, the cold don't bother them. Uh, natural ventilation, etc. They're on heated waters because it's one of the main reasons why it's kind of open buildings. In here in the main dairy barn, we kind of hamper these girls a little bit more. It's a traditional tie stall barn. Water lines are all above and exposed, so we have more for them to have water all the time in the cold temps. So we've got to have the barn stay at least 30, 40 degrees. Currently it's 40. 45, 50 degrees in here on the coldest winter days. Uh, summer, we open everything wide up and we have good ventilation. We got going here is just the corn silage coming out of the silo. This is the whole plant chopped up into little pieces. You can see the, the kernels of corn every once in a while in there. And the stalk, or all the stalk. I'm trying to find cob, but I really can't find the cob, which is a good thing. We want that to all be broke up. And then this, this over here is our ground corn. That's just a strictly the kernel, all ground fine. And this is an energy source. That along with the corn silage, their are main sources of energy for the day. So this here is the protein. It's soybean, soybean meal, and corn distillers is what's in this. If you look carefully, you can see the crushed up soybean pieces in there. It's a high protein supplement to help get the most out of the cows. All right, so the corn and the protein, them are all pre-made mixes coming from our, our local mill, Farmer's Grain and Feed. Um, it's all my ingredients, or the, the main ingredients, the corn and the soybeans that I raise here on the farm ourselves. And I, I store them at the local mill and then they grind them and mix them together as needed in the right proportions. She's not supposed to be in here, that chicken. She manages to sneak in. And throw her back outside. So here we are, we just got everything ready to go. We'll start milking here right away. Everything's, we'll say, clean at the moment or empty. We'll come back in here in a little bit and the milk will be coming in. We strip them out, make sure the first couple of milk, squirts of milk are clean. And we pre-dip them with an iodine dip. And then it'll wait about a minute or so and we'll come back, we'll start putting the units on. There's actually 56 total milk cows at the moment. Only one dry cow kind of had a breeding slug where ended up getting everybody pregnant all, or not everybody, but a big slug of cows at one time got pregnant and were short dry cows if, at the moment. Normally we have between six and 10 dry cows at any given time. We're usually milking right around 50 and have between 50 and 55 milking always. 
take us about an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half to milk 55 cows right now. Average cow probably milks, takes less than five minutes to milk a cow out once the unit's on her. A cow like this one right here, she's given like 75, 80 pounds of milk. A day right now, 40 pounds, let's just call it 40 pounds of milking. She'll be done in about four and a half, five minutes. We milk with seven automatic takeoffs, or milk units with automatic takeoffs on them. When the, there's a flow sensor on these units, when it's done, it will, when a cow gets below so many pounds per minute, it will automatically take the unit off. Teats are already done milking. She's basically waiting up on this left or rear right, it looks like, to finish milking on there. There's still flow coming out of that one. There it goes. So we can watch the flow going through them. So it drops into the center claw and then up the hose. So the average cow eats between 60 and 65 pounds of dry matter a day. So a lot of the feed we're feeding, or a portion of it, is actually wet. Like the silage is there, 60% moisture on average. Versus like the grains that we feed or dry hay, that's 10% moisture. We, there's no moisture really in that anymore. It's, it's shelf stable for lack of better terms. That they average 60 to 65 pounds a day intake on dry matter. So you get a lot of manure in the return out of this. So all the cows are standing on rubber mats. Inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick rubber. And embedded with straw on top yet. We're trying to keep them as comfortable and happy as they can be. So from the, the cow, the, the milk travels through the stainless steel pipes in the barn. The milk never touches human hands. From the time it comes out of the cow to the time it's picked up and taken to the, to the cheese plant, it never touches human hands again. It goes in the jar here, the pump had just kicked on. He's pumping it through this pipe up to what we call a plate cooler. And then up over our heads and comes back around and it's pouring in the tank, or being pumped into the tank. So that's one milking's worth of milk out of the cows, out of this cow. That's roughly 45 pounds of milk in there. Limestone, burn lime. We use it for on the burn floors for traction so the cows don't sweat. It'll be, uh, it'll be uh, 
and there's about 5,500 5, 5, bales of hay usually up here. 4,000 straw, 5,500 hay. Morning's worth of chores for what we normally have to do. It takes us between four and five hours on a given day. From the time we start feeding in the morning, which was say 7.30 until let's say 12.30, 1 o'clock on any given day, is the morning chores. We milk, we clean, we feed, we milk, we clean, we bed, we bring them back in.